Hello and welcome to the Vroman Residence Hall at SUNY Coleskill. Vroman is an upperclassman residence hall, which means it houses students with 60 or more credits. It is also the only wet dorm on campus, meaning that students who are of age are allowed to have alcohol in their dorm rooms. On the outside looking in, it must seem like Vroman is the perfect place to stay while at school. But in the past few months, an unsuspected problem has arisen. Organized crime. A group of students calling themselves the Vroman Hand has taken control of the building through violence and intimidation. They have forged textbooks and sold them to students, and they have been accused of breaking and entering into their rooms and trashing them. To get a better idea of what's going on at this place, I decided I needed to go to the source. So I went to two people who I thought would know. And they are two separate RAs of the building. So are you aware of the allegations of an organized crime ring here in Rome? No, I am not aware. Are you aware of the allegations of students disappearing and ending up mixed in with the garbage? <laughs> nope. Hmm. Nothing. You wouldn't happen to be on the take from these individuals, would you? Possibly gaining some assistance with your own schooling? What do you take me for? Absolutely not. So none of your competing students have disappeared under mysterious circumstances, moving you up in the ranks of your own program? Nope. Hmm. Not to m my knowledge. That's convenient because three students who were ahead of you now are unable to be found by police or family members. But you wouldn't know anything about that, would you? I know nothing. How do you respond to the allegations of organized crime present in the building? Um, what are you, what are you talking about? What allegations? I'm not, I'm not 100% sure if there's anything going on in here. I, I mean, I mean, I'm the, I'm the RA here, but I don't know of anything that's that's going on. Just no comment. No comment on that one. Thanks. Do you know what happened to the two students who were living over here? I mean, it's a suite that normally has four, but now there's only two. So half of the residents just right there have disappeared. Um, um, no comment again. And, uh, and if you have any other further questions, I'm sure I can look into it. Um, but I, I have no idea what's going on in here. You, you've heard nothing, and you're an RA. You haven't noticed that those two people just are gone? Um, well, a according to, to no comment, N no comment. Thank you. Thank you for your time. Thank you all. Thank you. It seemed to me that they were both hiding something, but further investigation was required. Mr. Parker, welcome back. Please don't, 
Don't bother getting up. What in the hell did you do to me? Oh, the effects of the stun gun will wear off shortly. I just wanted to have a little talk with you about this story of yours. And now that we're both here, I thought we might straighten a few things out. So all of this is just to intimidate me? Come on. <laughs> Intimidation is such an ugly word. I would rather think of it as enlightenment. Seriously? To enlighten me? Yes, absolutely. I am here simply to enlighten you as to the consequences that you will face if you pursue this story further. You do anything to me, you prove me right. Everything I've said about you. That is the catch, isn't it? You're a problem that gets worse if we try to make you disappear. Luckily for the both of us, there's another way. So, what, you want me to lie? You're already lying, Mr. Parker. Telling the public of a criminal organization without any proof. And at such a respectable institution. This story has already tarnished your reputation. What then? A retraction. That's all we ask. You tell your viewers you were wrong. Sure, your career and your reputation will be damaged further, but that will be the worst you face. And if I refuse? Well, we have already established that you're off limits. But your friends and family, your loved ones, the people you care about, that's a different story. Are you really willing to put them at risk just to put yourself in the limelight? You wouldn't. <laughs> I think we both know I would. So, what is your answer? You're a monster. So treat us like monsters, Mr. Parker. Tell the world we're not real. You will be free to go. Hello. My name is Matthew Parker. I am a journalist, and I am making this video as an apology to both my viewership and anyone I may have offended or implicated in my story pursuing an a alleged crime ring at Roman Residence Hall in SUNY Cobleskill. After fact-checking, and going over the credibility of my sources, it has come to my attention that there is no possibility of an organized crime ring or any other kind of criminal element in the Roman Residence Hall. I would like to send my most heartfelt apologies to anyone I may have implicated, accused, or otherwise tarnished their reputations. I will not be pursuing this story any further, and I apologize for wasting everyone else's time. Thank you.